Hello my succulent friends, it's me Suze. So I'm sitting in a new spot today and this is my view. Having some uh, coffee. I couldn't stop thinking last night about that variegated potential variegated big red in my front garden. I actually think I was dreaming about it. So <laughs> in a sec I'm going to go outside and I'm going to have another look and um, probably tidy up that area a little bit and take the flower blooms off and the um, extra rosettes. So let's go do it. So I've decided to work on this big red today and I was quite disappointed to see all the weeds see yesterday so I thought I'd clean that up. You know it's kind of like when you have friends over to your house you tidy up so that's what I did. It does look a bit neater. There were large river pebbles that I'd stacked up there. That's because they were along the perimeter. I'd taken them off so I could clean up grass around it. Ah, that was growing underneath it. Anyway, so I've done some of the work. Now it's time to remove the stalks and then the pups and have a look. Those imbricadas uh, not looking too great either so I thought tidy that up tidy that up a little bit so there they are all chopped off I know I'm breaking my rule about filming out in my front garden but it's pretty quiet in the neighborhood so it looks really bare actually but now we can really see this uh, this rosette and that is definitely variegated and come to think of it I'm not, I, I would have thought that that leaf color looking a little light I guess was probably just because it's uh, shaded by the stuff on top of it but maybe that's a little variegation as well I don't know but all in all it doesn't look healthy in the sense that uh, it doesn't have its striking colour, the main rosette is all squishy, squishy, and this doesn't look good. So I'm going to remove these pups. So one, two on this side, I think back here is another one. And uh, if you think it is big, it is big. <laughs> um, amazing. All right, let's do it. Well, golly gosh, it looks very um, bare to me now. So I took off the one with the, the leaf that looks variegated. I left the one underneath for now. I did take the one behind it. So they're here. Let's have a look at this. Well, 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 I do think it is and it's happened all on its own. So this one, other than uh, just adoring it and treasuring it, if I can get pups off this, I wonder if I can continue sort of to breed that within the uh, future clones. Maybe I could get some more variegation very interesting don't know if you have any thoughts I'd love to hear look at this monster you can nearly use it like an umbrella I wonder if that's some sort of I don't get fungus and mold and stuff so I'm not experienced in that it doesn't really look like that but that's strange maybe that's hail damage I don't know slugs maybe unsure but they're still very pretty okay so now I've got these imbricatas here and I feel like they're fighting with each other the big red and the imbricatas and I know there's a lot of dry leaves underneath all of that uh, so I'm either going to pull that out which I think could get messy and reset them 
around there or leave it or take a few heads out or maybe take this other uh, head off that looks a little looks like that same thing's happening I think I want to leave it there because I walk along here and it's nice to look at all right I'm gonna do it I'm gonna pull all these out chop off the heads and then just lay them all around here nice and neat oh well have a look at this what I found today <laughs> I don't know what succulent that's from maybe it's from the Supremes that are over there maybe a leaf made its way in here right well I cut it out um, took the roots and all so that's them there and uh, as you can see some of them have um, quite a good root system on them naturally but I'm going to do what Laura Banks taught us and I'm just going to head chop them all so hopefully when I arrange them here they'll stay a little bit more good you know not overgrow for a while might get a bit of rot because of rain coming in but uh, I can live with that well there you are all done just look a lot neater so I did um chop off all the roots topped up the top dressing of some reserve rocks around I know you're all thinking can I see the rest of your garden okay you can see some of it because <laughs> it's messy all right so over here and it does go around there I can't even go around the corner there that's just really bad hello so my neighbor across the street came to talk to me so there's this um, section I'm not gonna go too close because I don't, I don't I'm not gonna keep repeating myself <laughs> about how I feel about it so maybe I might spend some more time here and work on it I doubt it we'll see <clears throat> so I'm back outside having a look at uh, what I've cut out of here obviously I'm going to propagate those as I usually do but isn't that just phenomenal I'm just going to cherish this one <laughs> hopefully some more leaves from it as it grows will um, variegate as well I've never had this happen to me from a non variegated plant so if you have any experiences with that I'd love to hear about it so I'm trying pretty hard to put out some content every day but uh, this will probably be a short video because you know it's a little bit difficult when it's chilly outside so before I go I want to say a big hello to Penny Lane and uh, it's great to hear you're enjoying your she cave and Penny Smith um, stay warm in Tassie and uh, good luck with your weeding <laughs> runaway lady thank you for the uh, lovely comments this morning brought a big smile to my face Margaret Nilsson um, wonderful to hear that your tricolor leaf babies are coming along and um, hi Kerry Clark who, uh, who liked my boots in my little video montage and hello to the rest of you thank you so much for all your wonderful comments and for those who are new to my channel I would really appreciate it if you liked and subscribed uh, that would really mean a lot to me as I'm trying to get monetized thank you and I'll see you guys next time bye for now I wanted to sincerely thank you for watching and if you enjoyed this video I would really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribed to my channel. Also you can find me as S's for Succulents on my Instagram and Facebook page where I post daily photos with tips and information so come and hang out with me there it's a great place to chat and connect. Thank you.